Listen to this for a second. You can hardly hear it. It's a vertical access wind turbine designed to sit on top of your home and provide power to the house. It's, it's really phenomenal, a new form of alternative energy. Here to tell us a little bit more about it is Alex Stewart from Global Wind Group. So just how much energy can this provide your home? Uh, 1.2 kilowatts, which is uh, 1,200 watts, about enough to power your fridge, mm -hmm. your microwave, and your stove all at the same time. So we've got uh, a wonderful design here. This thing is really neat. Uh, doesn't produce any noise, as you'd mentioned there. No vibration, so it's mountable on your house. You're not going to hear it. Uh, it's not going to kill any birds. Uh, it's really a, a, a fantastic design. Wow. Now, I, said, I mentioned this is new because I mean I haven't really seen these around, but they've actually been around for a little while. Yeah, this design is actually over 100 years old, uh, but we now have two Canadian manufacturers for these things, which is just phenomenal. Uh, they're tested in Canada. They've survived our climate, so uh, we're pretty excited about that. They don't build up any ice. They're not going to stop working at all. Uh, they can survive up to a level one hurricane, which you know we don't see in Canada. So mm -hmm. they're just going to keep going. They're going to keep producing electricity. So uh, yeah, they're really neat. It Winnipeg or Manitoba even is really a great place for this, just, I guess because of the high winds, isn't it? Yeah, Manitoba has one of the best wind resources in Canada. Certainly if you've ever stood at the corner of Portage in Maine, you know how windy this place can be. So uh, yeah, we, uh, we expect these things to produce electricity about 75% of the time that they're on your home. Wow. And through the night, so I mean there's some definite advantages. People have heard of other forms of power like solar panels, but how does this differ to a solar panel? Well certainly uh, when the sun goes down there's no, uh, no solar energy anymore. But, uh, you know, we've all seen those windy nights. Uh, so this thing's going to keep on going all through the winter, uh, even in those dark, dark days. Uh, you know, so, so we're not limited by that at all. And that, that, I think, is our real advantage here over solar panels. Mm -hmm. Is there a, any sort of battery system that goes with them? At this time, no. But our manufacturer is looking to hook this thing up to a battery. And, you know, if you wanted to, you could eventually take your house completely off the, uh, off the grid. Wow. That would be phenomenal. And, you know, with all the new technology, we were just talking about the Volt, the the new mm. car coming out. Can you imagine hooking one of these up to your car? That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> Come in at night and just, you know, plug it in and yeah, in the morning it's ready to go. Yeah. Right. Now, as you were mentioning earlier, I mean, well, electricity is fairly inexpensive in Manitoba, but this has got some great applications where electricity isn't so expensive. Tell me about that. Yeah, the uh, northern communities uh, that we have here in Manitoba, uh, a lot of the northern communities across Canada actually run on diesel power. So they're paying about a dollar a kilowatt hour uh, versus Manitoba's six cents a kilowatt hour. So you've got a huge um, cost associated with these uh, diesel-powered communities. Uh, certainly we're in touch with these uh, First Nations communities. You know, they want to go environmental as well. They don't like having these diesel generators on their communities. So as, uh, as this technology you know, becomes more widely known, uh, we expect to see a lot more up there. Okay, you've already got some of these mounted in Canada. Where? Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got a couple at Kenora, the Kenora Airport, if you wanted to go past and take a look. Mm -hmm. There are five mounted there. You can just drive past and take a look at them. Um, there's a number of these also installed in Calgary, which is where these are manufactured out of. So, uh, you know, homeowners are starting to pick up on this. Uh, the folks that really want to go green, um, you know, this is a great way to do that. Yeah, you're getting quite a, some exciting feedback from the people that you've met with or, or met with already over the... Oh, absolutely. I mean, their, their, their eyes just light up. Nobody's seen anything like this before. And, uh, you know, the design is just phenomenal. Uh, the design is easy, uh, easy to install, um, you know, not terribly expensive. Um, certainly, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful addition to any home. Okay. And you don't have to stick at one, do you, for your home? Pardon? You don't have to stick with just one on your home, do you? No, absolutely not. You could fit probably two, uh, depending on the size of your home, maybe even three. You know, if you've got a large bungalow, um, three is about the most you're going to need, actually, to, to power your entire home. One of these will, will do about a third of your home's power, so wow. it's pretty exciting, yeah. That's phenomenal. And, I mean, just looking at it, I know you told me the weight of it, but it looks, it looks heavy, and the, with this thing spinning around as fast as it does, it doesn't cause any huge problems for your roof? No, not at all. The engineered roof trusses are, are just fine for that. So any of the, the homes built, you know, in the last 50 years, um, they have absolutely no problems with that. So, uh, yeah, homes are built for it. You're not going to hear a lot of vibration from it. Uh, we don't recommend to put it above the bedroom just in case you are a light sleeper. But uh, beyond that, you know, the, you know you're not going to hear any noise. You're not going to hear any vibration. Uh, they're durable. Um, yeah, they're just great. So I'm, I'm betting, <coughs> excuse me, I'm betting you can see lots more of these as the future progresses. And if you want to find out more information, where do they go? Yeah, www.globalwindgroup.com. All right. Thanks very much, Alex. Yeah, thank you, Jeremy. So that's the vertical axis wind turbine. Find out more about it. For Shaw TV, I'm Jeremy Valens.